Okay, welcome to another Bleistift video. And this time I want to have a look at Stadler's Mars 501-180 Lottery Sharpener. It's a dedicated sharpener for the Vopex, even though they don't really mention it on the packaging or on the website. Uh, it's dedicated and it's specifically made for the Vopex. As you might know, the Vopex is a pencil that's using a, a wood plastic uh, composite and that causes some sort of problems. I mean, the pencil is much heavier than other pencils and usually the auto stop doesn't work on those are the sharpeners. But for this sharpener, and you can see here, it's quite a bit bigger than your average uh, desktop sharpener. Uh, for this sharpener, uh, they've um, they've taken this special material into account. On the right, you've got the, uh, one of the dailies that is very similar to the famous classroom friendly sharpener, and as you can see, that's that's quite a big uh, sharpener, but the Stadler is even bigger. So let's have a look. Let's try the whole thing out with one of my unsharpened Stadler Mars Lumograph pencils. This one is in F. And uh, if you've followed my blog or if you follow Lexicalis, if Lexicalica's blog, you might know that this pencil is in this unsharpened form only available in Japan. So, but uh, unsharpened pencil, that's a good place to start. Um, okay, let's put it in focus. And let's sharpen this pencil. So let's start with a normal wood case pencil here with the Lumograph. Yeah, sharp. Let's have a closer look. Uh -huh. And you can see here there's a, there's a dent now on the pencil body where the sharpener held the, the pencil in place. That's one of the reasons why I don't like uh, any desktop sharpener, any rotary sharpener that will leave marks on the pencils. Sometimes it doesn't matter for some of the pencils, but usually it's not very nice. And if you keep sharpening the same pencil again and again, you get lots of different marks. Let's have a look at the 501-180 again. Here on the back, you can change uh, how you want your point to be. Yeah, You can have a, a flat point for colored pencils and a normal point, a sharp point for graphite pencils. You change that by uh, twisting that knob there. Okay, you can take the whole mechanism out. Let's have a look, let's compare it to the dailies mechanism. similar kind of thing, but the Stadler's mechanism takes the Vopex's um, special attribute into account. Uh, there's much more plastic, or the, I mean, there is plastic in the Vopex, there's no plastic in a normal sharpener, and that means the whole thing gets statically charged, at least that's my understanding. And because of the static charge, which is the same with, with other with other plasticky pencils, like a, a big, for example, uh, the auto stop usually doesn't work, and I think it can also cause problems with the point adjuster. Okay, let's label the pencils. So this one. The first one was sharpened with the daily 620. Let's take another one of my unsharpened Stadler Lumograph, Mars Lumograph pencils. Uh, 
Okay. The auto stop worked well. Obviously, this is a wooden pencil. So you can see the angle is not as acute as with the 620. Let's label this pencil. This one has been sharpened with the 501-180. And now for what used to be my favorite sharpener. Okay. This one has been sharpened with uh, 635. Let's have a closer look again. Yeah, on the left side the 65, in the middle the Städler, on the right side there was the 620 point. Let's try to sharpen some Vopex pencils. Here they are. As you can see from the color, those are the new Nordis Echo Vopex pencils. I don't have any unsharpened Vopex pencils, so yeah, they've been pretty sharpened in the factory. So next I want to get rid of the point so that the auto-stop mechanism doesn't kick in too early. Let's just break it off. Okay. So now we have what looks like the unsharpened pencils or the Vopex pencils that need sharpening. Let's try the 0620 again, which is uh, more or less the same pencil as the classroom friendly sharpener. sharpen the pencil it's quite a hard material and the auto stop mechanism didn't work yeah. I've worn down so much of the pencil and it only stopped when the holder finally was completely uh, inside the body of the sharpener let's label this again Now, the first time I try a Vopex in the Vopex sharpener, yeah. and you see the auto stop mechanism worked. And we've got a perfectly sharp Vopex. Let's label it. And let's try the 65. Let's have a look. So again the auto stop mechanism doesn't seem to work. And it's it's just eating up the pencil. pencil that wasn't eaten up was the one sharpened by the Stadler 501-180. Let's move all the points a bit closer together so that it's easier to compare them. Okay, let's just have a little look at the end at a, at a thick, how to sharpen a Vopex 
in uh, the auto the sharpener when the auto stop mechanism doesn't work you just start your sharpening process as usual you the you take the plate out and oh yeah let's remove the point first so that there's something to sharpen okay you insert the pencil as usual you sharpen a bit and when you think you've sharpened enough you then just release the holder yeah, and you just finish the sharpening so that you don't have any sharp uh, corners on the point and yeah your pencil is finished but that's obviously more complicated than if you use a sharpener where the auto stop mechanism works. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.